Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Polio Jr. And today I wanted to show you a pretty cool program called, called Auto Mouse Click. And this isn't just your regular, um, you drag the mouse over to wherever and it just keeps clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking. Uh, it does have that feature. Uh, but this actually, this program actually has um, 50 to 100, 50, definitely 50 plus features on what you can do with uh, your mouse and actual points on the screen on where you want it to go. So you can set it into a series. So you can say click here, click here, then click here, or double click here, um, you know, right click here, and then you can even delay the time and all that good stuff. So uh, I think this is more of a program that would be oriented towards a, uh, anyone who does a lot of gaming, where there's certain times where you have to uh, continuously uh, click on a specific thing or even drag and drop. That's another option that it has, which is really nice. So bringing something from one part of the screen to another part of the screen and where this can do it uh, in whatever time delay that you want and so forth. So let's just get right into it. Uh, this is the website, uh, mergie.com slash auto dash mouse dash click. I'll put a link in the description. Just download it and let's get into it. So what I'm going to do is just show you the very basic, um, a very basic application um, of using this. So this is uh, this is the program itself. It's after you're done installing it, um, it may look like a lot, you know, at first you're like, "What the hell is going on here?" But it's actually very simple once you start getting used to it. So typically, I would use function um, keys. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use numbers. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to draw. I'm not going to draw, but I'm just going to make some squares in here just to at least show you how this works. So link square, whatever, square, square. Okay. And let's get out of here. Now, what I what I want to do is have these squares be filled with color. It doesn't matter which one. So fill this, fill this, fill this, and then fill this with color. And then after that, I just want to put a line between each square, connecting all the squares together. So one from here to here, one from here to here, one from here to here, and one from here to here. And like I said, this really wouldn't be anything you would really use. I'm just using Paint, Microsoft Paint as a a very simple uh, demonstration of how the program uh, can work. So the first thing we're going to do here is see what we what's the first action that we want to have um, the program do. And what I'm going to do for the first action is I'm actually going to do a double click. And I'm going to then you have to set a function key for where that double click is going to go and that function key whatever it is it's well it's just going to be the number one I click assign now wherever I wherever on the screen I hit number one that's what this is going to do so I know I want it to go here to fill so I'm going to click here once and that's it so the mouse once I start up uh, the program once I hit start it will click on that and now we want to go to the next option in the sequence. So for that, I can just do a single click, or yeah, just a left click. And now I'm going to type in the number two. I'm going to click assign. And number two is just, I'm going to put it inside. So I just click number two. I click number two again inside of the squares. Number two and number two. So it's going to go in that order in that series. Now the next thing we want to do is like I said we want to connect all the squares with the line. So that's where we go down to the begin dragging left button down. Uh, well, let's see here. So we want to connect to the line so after that actually we want to, we want to draw a line. So now I'm going back up to um, double click and I'm going to hit number three. I'm just doing it in order. Hit assign. And number three will be the pencil right here. Boom. 
So when I just hit the number three over the pencil, I'm gonna make sure it's okay, it's on the thickest. So after it's done with the pencil, now we want it to go, um, now we want to create a line connecting all the squares. So from here, now we do the begin dragging left button. So, buh, buh, buh. okay, let's hit this, and then let's assign that as number four. So we click assign, and number four will start here, or whatever, it doesn't matter, but it'll start here, number four, and that's the begin dragging. And then the next thing we wanted to do is end the drag over here. So now we click end dragging, end dragging, and that'll be number five, assign, and exactly where I want to put it. And now I hit number five. So, and then this, I would just continue doing this back and forth, you know. Um, so going to back to begin, I'll click six. Uh, it doesn't really, I guess it doesn't really matter. So let's do six, assign, okay, begin. So begin number six, then we see that got added. Let me go back to end. I'm just going to click six again. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. You can keep doing it, but I have to hit um, assign here. So you can, you can actually use the same key all the way through. Six, so that's end dragging. And then begin dragging, assign. You just have to make sure you keep clicking assign. Number six, okay. And then end dragging, assign, six, okay. And then the last one here, or last two. Assign, begin dragging, six, okay. And then the last one, end dragging, assign, whatever, six. Okay, now we have what we want to do. So going through this, it should go in the order that I wanted it to do, which is click on um, the paint fill option, fill up the squares, and then create a line from each square, making sure that all of the squares are connected. Now, as you see, the delay here is very is pretty quick. So uh, 100 milliseconds is very quick. So if there is something that you're doing and you do need to adjust the time, just know that um, was it a thousand milliseconds is one second total. So um, that's where you can just do, you know, obviously just double click on it and just type a thousand. It doesn't matter if you want to just do that all the way through. But so let's start and actually see what happens here. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully everything works. But it's going to go to where exactly the um, where I configured the mouse. So let's just test it out, and it'll go down the series. You can have it on a repeat count. You can put as many as you'd like. So um, and then also there is a part in the settings where you can have an option to because um, if if you have the repeat count really high, uh, say it was even at like a thousand. And you're like, holy crap, how do I get out of this, you know? So without waiting for it to finish, um, in the settings option, like once you go to med uh, menu and then other settings, uh, you can assign a key that will actually um, close out the, series, the, the sequence of events. So let's hit start, and hopefully it does everything I wanted, I wanted it to do, just to show you an example. All right. And it might be pretty fast because it's on 100 milliseconds, but let's see. Get that, fill the square. And there we go. Woo! It did it. <laughs> so it just went through, um, you know, 14 actions that it had to take. It did exactly what we wanted it to do, which was fill, in, ah, fill these in. So first it was click on the paint bucket, fill these, fill the squares in. And then after that, click on the pencil option and then draw the lines from where we wanted them, where we wanted it to start and where we wanted it to end and so forth. So um, that's just to give you an example that it actually does work. So um, now if we change, just to do another test here, let's change the color. Oh no. 
to sure, whatever. And then on this, so everything will be yellow now. Uh, let's see if that does anything there. Yep. And then the lines will all be yellow. And so, but yeah, just a pretty cool example here. I'm going to do it one more time. Do it on green. And go. And you just let the mouse just goes by itself. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. So, uh, I'm sure there are a plethora of different ways, uh, different options of using this. There, there definitely are. The, the, like I said, the biggest one that I could think of was actually uh, more for, you know, oriented towards gamers. But uh, there are some other options on which you can use this. Um, you know, it's just whatever comes up in your head on, on how to use this. The, like I said, the biggest thing I came up with was for gamers. Um, other than that, it's really up to you. Whatever you feel as though, hey, I, you know, I have to do this, you know, this series, whatever it is, this is obviously a very uh, rudimentary, very, you know, very simple demonstration. But you know, how could I actually put this into into play? So, and uh, the biggest thing that I could think of for m like me personally is there's, um, you know, there's, there's a ton of different apps. So like where you would use like an Android emulator or something like that, where you actually have to click like a million times and then you have to swipe and that's where that um, that begin dragging and then the end dragging option would come into play so um, and it will go to these exact X and Y points all the time so you have to make sure that if you do save um, once you save your profile that um, you know whatever program you're using and so forth that it goes to those exact spots that's the biggest thing so I can save my profile, I have it at that, and that's it. So I can bring up that profile whenever I'd like. And if you want to, like I said, adjust the milliseconds and so forth, and then uh, you can adjust the repeat count. And I really, that's really all I have. So um, it actually is a very simple program, and it just goes down in the sequence, you know, starting from one to wherever you leave off. So that's it. So enjoy uh, Auto Mouse Click by Mergee.com. Very beneficial. Has a lot of options. It's actually uh, it is actually very simple, but it's just they have a ton of options in here where you can do um, just a whole just a whole plethora of different things. So not even just with the mouse. Like I said, there's parts where you can um, what is it? Do, 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 do. Like have, like have the keyboard do certain things, type from Excel, all that kind of stuff. So, if you're doing a lot of repetitive things with your mouse, then this would be uh, a highly beneficial uh, application to use. So, her program. This is a program. We're on Windows now. <laughs> very, yeah. I highly recommend this program if you're doing something that's very repetitive. So. Thank you very much for watching, guys. That's all I have. Uh, enjoyed this $20,000 painting that I just drew. And I am out of here.